Hello everyone. Up to now, we discussed about the power flow equations in synchronous machine. In that, we are finally getting the active power equal to EV by Zs cos theta minus del minus V square by Zs cos theta is the active power and the reactive power equal EV by Zs sin theta minus del minus V square by Zs into sin sin theta. Okay. Next, we will discuss about the condition for maximum output power. We have to find out the condition how we are getting the maximum output power. Here the power equal to, here the power equal to, power P equal to EV by Zs cos theta minus del cos theta minus del minus v square by <coughs> sorry v square by zs cos theta less cos theta so to get the condition for maximum power always the maximum power is we have to we have to differentiate with the uh, variable and equate to zero so this is the active power the variable is the load angle and equal to zero then we will get so by doing this we will get constant is ev by zs cos theta minus del will become sine theta minus del and for this if we are doing we will get the minus one and v square by zs is completely become the zero because there is no del term is available so from this ev by zs sin theta minus del equal to zero from this we will write sin theta minus del equal to zero here we will write sin theta minus del equal to sin zero so by equating this theta minus del value equal to zero so finally we can give a conclusion that is the theta value equal to del theta value equal to del so by using this we can set that in order to get the maximum power from alternator we should keep the load angle must be equal to the impedance angle so del is the load angle and theta is the impedance angle theta is the impedance angle so then the maximum power will be transferred from alternator to load maximum power will be transferred from alternator to load <laughs> so already we have the equation for the power we should substitute substitute these values the power equation you know that active power equation is like this the active power value is so you know the active power value so just replace substitute theta in place of del substitute del in place of theta in the power equation then the power equation is like this power equation equal to ev by zs cos theta minus theta minus v square by zs into cos theta so by doing this we will get ev by zs cos theta minus theta into cos zero it is a one v square by zs cos theta so finally we will get ev by zs and v square by zs into cos del cos del so finally we will get the the power equation is like this ev by zs minus v square by zs into cos theta or del in place of theta just up to the del substitute the del because we are substituting in place of theta value with del so 
so here cos del minus del will become zero right right so this is the maximum power equation this is the maximum power equation that is e v by z s minus v square by z s into cos del right next next we will do one problem here the problem is in alternated synchronous reactance is 0.8 per unit is connected to the infinite bus rated voltage with exit with excitation emf is adjusted to 1.5 per unit the alternator delivers the output of 0.5 per unit neglect all losses first what is the load angle second the armature current third the power factor fourth the reactive power fifth current at maximum power next power factor at maximum power and reactive power in the maximum power output right first note down the given data here the solution note down the given data so synchronous reactance x is equal to 0.8 per unit and so in infinite bus infinite bus always has one and emf equal to 1.3 per unit and delivers the power output he mentioned that is the 0.5 per unit and he mentioned synchronous reactance is 0.8 so we will write the synchronous reactance x is equal to 0.8 at an angle of 90 an angle of 90 then first we should find out the load angle first we should find out the load angle no, not load angle and first we should find out the load angle load angle means we should do the active power formula p equal to e v by x s into sin del x s into tan del from this we can write p equal to 0.5 uh, e is 1.3 v is 1 by excess means 0.8 sin del here from this we can write the sin del value equal to we are getting some value that is the 0.5 into 0.8 by 1.3 into 1.0 from this we will get the del value equal 17.92 del value equal to 17.9 and next next we will find out the armature current b armature current armature current formula equal to i a equal e at an angle of del minus v at an angle of zero by z s at an angle of theta from this you know 1.3 at an angle of 17.92 minus 1 at an angle of 0 by 0.8 at an angle of 90 from this we will find out the armature current equal to 1.65 minus j into 3.86 so we should convert the polar form the polar form we will write 0.58 at an angle of minus 30.64 next c c value we can write the power factor power factor equal to cos phi cos phi means 30.64 from this we will get the 0.8 lag next d point d is the we should find out the reactive power reactive power q equal to v by x s minus e cos del minus v so from this 1 by 0 0.8 1.3 1 into cos 17.93 minus 2 so from this we will get the reactive power equal to 0.296 reactive power value equal to 0.296 next point e e equal to armature current 
at p max maximum power equal to e at an angle of del minus v at an angle of zero by z s at an angle of theta from this we know that 1.3 at an angle of 90 minus 1 at an angle of 0 by 0.8 at an angle of 90 by doing this we will get 2.05 at an angle of 37.57 point five seven. Point five seven. we will get armature current at maximum power next so power factor at maximum power next is we will get the power factor at maximum power at p max so simply we have the power factor angle that is the cos 37.57 will get 0 0.79 leading leading here cos phi equal to cos del equal same value we will get that right next last point seventh point equal reactive power at maximum power at maximum power that is v by xs e cos del minus v by doing this we will get 1 by xs means the point e height by 1.3 into cos 90 minus 1 so finally we will get the reactive power that is the 1.25 per unit so here we are getting the reactive power value is the negative so it is delivered over excited that means delivered loss if it is positive reactive we are getting so reactive power is delivering if it is the positive we can call it as absorbed under excited under excited then reactive power is absorbed reactive power is absorbed okay so this is the problem and this is the condition for the maximum output power okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you